G'day mate and welcome back to Captain Industry with me, JD. In our last episode, we got our ore sorting sorted. We also took a loan for wood. I know it's a very hard thing to understand, but our credit score is slowly increasing as we speak. So that does mean that the loan sharks do like us. Hello. We also tapped in the island's groundwater, so now we have irrigated farms up and running. Now, today's plan is going to be going through the quest log, finish burning through the research queue, along with getting into sand and limestone mining. Oh, and sending Mr. Shibi Shibi to visit some local islands to see what's left of the world. But as always, with the plan stated, I need to ask that very important question. And that question being, of course, well, you're back for episode four of a Let's Play. Have you clicked subscribe yet? You've spent at least two hours with me. Have I earned a subscribe yet? All right, so first things first is we need to come over and we need to name a couple of excavators. Uh, first one is going to be, uh, well, thank you. Thank you to the new YouTube member here. Sorry, sorry. Her? No, I still pronounce it wrong. Mr. Major, Mr. Major. Uh, her is her, 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 her. I'm going to pronounce it wrong all the time. It's German. It's German for Mr. That much I remember from, well, the high school. Yeah, I failed German, but I remembered some pieces. Uh, the other one I need to thank is going to be the wonderful Arc Dragon. Arc Dragon, thank you for during my live stream on the weekend where we're doing not this map, we're doing the wonderful brand new map, the Armageddon map, uh, which I'm simulcasting to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Arc Dragon came along and gifted a whole bunch of YouTube memberships. So thank you both of you for choosing to support the channel. Thank you for keeping the dream alive. Also, at the same time, to both of you and all the new gifted YouTube members, I do hope you enjoy early access to the videos. So with those two uh, sorted and out of the way, let's get into, well, the rest of today's plans. First thing I want to do is I want to stop at these lovely water harvesters, uh, hopefully before it rains, and throw in two more of these guys. Now, I'm going to need to add a little connector on there like so and get these guys built. But I'm hoping uh, that maybe with these two up and running, we can... Oh, uh, it's raining. Yep, uni, uni, uni. Cool. I'm hoping with these two raining, we can just get a little bit more rainwater caught and therefore use a tiny bit more rainwater to do all the things that we need to do rather than running the pump so much. Uh, but whilst we're here, we can get Mr. Shippy Shippy, which I have to rename. I cannot say HMS Shippy Shippy. Uh, we're going to go with Mr. Shippy Shippy, of course, because HMS is just far, far, far too much. Um, we need to get Mr. Shippy Shippy in with a crew and sent off to explore the world. We're going to head to, well, any one of these locations. Uh, generally, in one of your very first nodes, you're going to find two things. You're going to find the oil rig and also the cargo ship. So, well, pick it random and let's go. Uh, now, whoop. Need to, need to watch Mr. Shippy Shippy leave. Yes, yes. Now, also out in the tower, uh, also out in the world map, we have our first little settlement we ran into. One of them was in the very first message log. And then this is the one that we've been doing the trades for, for wood, for bricks, also wood for concrete slabs. It's also the one we took the loan for, which our credit score's getting there and our interest rate's going down, so I can't really complain about. All right, whilst we're here, I'm going to get two more excavators and a bunch of trucks. And I also need to definitely expand out our dumping area. Uh, all of that, please. Cool. I have got a new experimental dumping area going out this way. This is going to be for a new um, dock in the future. Mm, do I want it there? Do I want it further to the left? I'm hoping I want it there. Uh... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five tiles. Yep, that'll do us. Cool. Yep. Uh, so we're gonna have two piers. One coming out this way. One coming out this way. This is at height one which is going to be too low for a dock to start with, but I, I just need something up and running. Okay, Mr. Shippy Shippy has gone out to the world map and, well, found the cargo ship. That's a good start. All right, which means uh, I have, well, this quest we can collect and this quest we can collect and we make construction parts too. We also mine some coal. We also set up some conveyor belts. I've done really well for myself. All right, 
before we get back to Mr. Shibby Shibby and so many other things, I need to, um, well, do a few things first. Uh, I need to put in a captain's office, which is under buildings. Ah, captain's office. We're going to put the captain's office uh, right here. Hard up against the town. Uh, that way I can, well, no, uh, can I get you rotated? Do, 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 do. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Uh, we're going to put the captain's office down here. Uh, that way I can both keep an eye on Mr. Shippy Shippy. Also, I can manage the complaints department because it's very important, okay, here on our island, the complaints department, all complaints are dealt with head management level, okay? We, we don't have sub managers, okay? There's no middle management on this island. Everything is dealt with directly at the top. All right, uh, next thing I want to do is we've done the ship dock repair, that can go away. We've done the captain's office, that can go away. We've done maintenance depot two, that can go away. Edicts, we need to talk about edicts very quickly. So edicts, I have a couple of options. Uh, I have room for how many people? 18 people. Okay, we're going to have to, when does that go off? Eight months. Okay, edicts. Edicts is um a way to make a decree. Okay, now... Through these decrees, I can do a whole bunch of things. Like I can pause the population growth. I can kick people out. I can say, hey, you guys got to eat less. We're on rations, okay? Or I can say, no, go nuts, eat all the food. I have lots of different options. In fact, actually, we're flush on potatoes. We're going to turn on plenty of food because I want the extra unity boost. Yes, if I give them extra potatoes, they believe in me better. I don't know what it is. I'd be jacking potatoes, you know, what are we, five years in, eating nothing potatoes for five years, but they're happy. They're happy just to survive here on... Well, the wonderful island. The wonderful island with uh, Captain Jetty in charge. Also, there's a couple of industrial edicts in here we can do. We'll jump into those when the game's going to request it. The game's going to request it shortly, so we'll get to those shortly. So that talks about edicts. Uh, housing 2 means I can give them actual houses that doesn't look like shipping containers. They don't get that anytime soon. We got some new refugees. They brought some loot. Conveyor lifts. They're new in update number 2. We're not adding those, not just yet. Uh, more refugees with more loot. Location explored. We went to this location. We got some rubber, some copper, some vehicle parts, and cargo ships. That's the thing I'm trying to get to. Okay, so Mr. Shibby Shibby has some fuel left. I can send him to, and well, this location, not that location, not that location, and that location. I'm still looking for cargo ship, step number one. Step number two is an end oil rig. There is an offshore oil rig out here somewhere. I need to find it. I need to repair it. We just need to randomly search. We're going to send our Mr. Shibby Shibby over there. And hope for the best. Uh, we got some new refugees. Great. Which means... No, five months. Okay. All right. Uh, game wants to be build a fuel station. We can build a fuel station. Uh, can I go to building some vehicles? Fuel station. We're going to put you... Here. Cool. Uh, also, right beside you, I'm going to put another diesel pump. Because I'm going to need another diesel pump. I really don't like that little uh, tree in the way. So, a bush, uh, I can, there we go, remove the damn thing, cool. Uh, we're gonna just quickly build that and build that pipe. And then after I built the fuel station, you're gonna say, please assign a truck. It's connected, trust me, it's connected. Ah, assign a truck, there we go. And I'm gonna unassign the truck because I don't really want a truck to do the refueling, not right at the moment. Uh, build a loose storage connector to an existing blast furnace using a U-shape connector to output slag. Okay, uh, smart conveyor routing, that is filters for belts. We haven't got there yet, and I found wheat. Also found rubber, copper, and vehicle parts, which is handy, and you're out of fuel, so you're gonna come all the way back. All right, high supply of wood. Yeah, here, let me fix that. Cool, all right, uh, fuel station is now done. We can tick that off the list as well. All right, so, uh, loose storage, blast furnace, using U-shape, output slag. I know you want me to do that. I don't really want to do that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to trick the game. Um, can I remove this? All right, what I do want is I want a... I want coal to move to slot D. Okay, I want a storage here. I want a storage here. I want a couple of storages here. And then I want a storage here. Okay, I need to have you set to slag. Uh, I need to connect an output to one of these things. Full slag. Uh, loose storage connected to an existing blast furnace using a U-shape connector and output slag. Cool. And uh, build that. Yeah. 
hopefully that's enough to trick this into I did what it said. Cool. Then I need to assign the loose storage uh, to empty the slag. Done. And now I can collect that. Cool. Uh, you're not going to be storing that. You're actually going to be storing rock. Cool. Uh, rock's on that port. Rock is on that port. Cool. Uh, and then I need to remove that belt. Otherwise, you're not going to work. Uh, export. On. Yeah. That guy is going to pick up the slag directly from there. Cool. So, can I connect you into you and you into you? All right. That's what I want to do. Uh, I want to build you guys. I want to set... You're going to be rock as well. Uh, I'm going to drag you down. You're going to be dirt. Drag you down. And you're going to be coal. And I'm also going to drag down coal. So therefore, if coal's in here, it's actually going to get booted out. Uh, that's the refugees I wanted. Perfect. Which means I can now come here and pause you. Which now means I can explain, well, unity. Okay. So with the power of unity, I can do all sorts of magical things. What I'd really like to do is over time, as we have some health, we have some amount of positive health, I have a population increase. That's what this actually is here. So the health of 0 0.03 means that slowly over time, very slowly, because there's not a lot of health points here, population is going to increase. Now, I'm about to add water facility to the uh, housing, which are then going to give me more health, which then will increase all. Yep, yeah, it's fine. But what I want to do is I don't want to have too many people for not enough housing. So I'm going to turn on this, which makes sense, okay? This means no more natural population growth. Even though we have this population growth here, it disappears, it doesn't get, it, it doesn't affect us. But I also want to max out our housing at 280. I don't want more than 280, but I don't want less than 280. So I'm going to turn on growth boost at the same time. And you might be saying, GD, you're asking people to move in, but also not move in. How does that work? And the answer is, well, because I have the growth boost of plus 0.4, if we click here, I have the plus 0.4 because that supersedes, well, that gets turned on. But notice how I had the 0.03% earlier? That's disappeared. So that stopped. Now, what's going to happen is not this month, because this month I got two people, but next month I'm going to get one person because that's all the people I can fit. And then after I get one person, growth pause is going to tick in. Now, because growth pauses are turned in, growth boost will get turned off automatically, like right now. Uh, no, we've got one person. I'm going to wait till the next month. Next month, it'll turn off automatically because I can't have any more people. So if I can't have any more people, this is going to get turned off, which is great because it means I can just naturally increase the population without having to remember to turn the beacon on and off all the time. Okay, so with that done, before I get too much further, uh, Mr. Shippy Shippy... Can I send you there and hope to find an oil rig? A uh, goodbye, sir. I need to get into a couple of bits of mining. Uh, can I go building some vehicles? I'm going to mine, mine control tower, uh, which I'm going to need two of them. Can I put one there? And can I put one, no, three of them? Uh, anywhere here. This beach is horrible. There. Okay. Can I put a second one here? Here. All right. This one. This one we're going to start with is edit area. I want you to do this. I also don't want you to have anything that can be dumped here. The only thing allowed to be dumped here is sand. Okay. We're going to get you built. I am going to set in a flat zone like so. I'm then going to, with the dumping tool, this is very, very important, uh, build myself a nice ramp sand castle in that direction. So if I find sand, it's going to get dumped there. Next thing I'm going to do is set up this guy. This guy is going to go from here to here. Uh, it cannot overlap that dumping designation, so we're going to have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, and you're going to get an excavator and two trucks. And you are going to come dig flat. This is above ground. Now, above ground is perfectly fine. If I drag it into the hill, it will eventually connect with the hill, and then we'll eventually have a starting location. But I want to start digging, according to my resource overlay. Yeah, about here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to lower this down by one top. So if I press the Q button, it'll intentionally lower it down by one top. And then it's still going to be lowered down one tile according to everything else. So I'm going to press M twice, one to turn on off the tool, one to turn it back on. And then just sort of drag into the hill a little bit. Then I'm going to ramp up because I don't really want the sand but I do really want the limestone. So we're gonna get you started. Unfortunately, you're gonna find a whole bunch of sand for right now. 
So what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need another one of these guys. Uh, flipped, because they're gonna place you around that. Uh, we're gonna set you to do sand and go. I'm also gonna have reject single product loads on. So if you fill up a truck with nothing but sand, hopefully it goes over there. Oh look, it's gonna go over there. It's not gonna go through the all solder. Perfect. All right, that's that problem done. You, I need you built as well. Uh, you, we're going to assign to this area. Cool. Uh, where is, pickup has no compatible because you have, oh, oh, I didn't set limestone. Uh, I need you to also do limestone. That's the other thing I need you to do. Cool. All right, so we now have a little bit of limestone coming in. I'm gonna need another excavator here, another uh, two trucks, two trucks. And can I get a couple of spare trucks? All right, this mine control tower. What I wanna do is I wanna have a ramp. I wanna have a ramp from the higher area to the lower area. So we're going to, that's 12, that's two. Decent amount of fill. Um, I want to move this forward by at least a tile. Wrong button. Mining. Ah. Okay. That's what I want. So it's going to involve a little bit of digging down here, a little bit of digging up here, and a little bit of filling in the middle. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the research done just yet for leveling terrain. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel you, add you back to the end of the list. We're going to finish custom surfaces. Then we get vehicles management, which will give me another 20 vehicles, 20 vehicles. And then I can get terrain leveling. Terrain leveling is essentially that. It's both dump and fill at the same time. So I can build myself a nice little ramp, which is exactly what I want to do. I want to have a nice little ramp from here to here so I can let the vehicles get up and down with ease. Okay. Uh, could not stall all potatoes. Well, this is why we have the thing image you build on. Uh, actually, okay, you've driven to there. Uh, try there. Uh, we found rubber, copper, vehicle parts. I can't argue with copper. Um, okay, we now know how to do retaining walls. Concrete production, I want to get into in like two seconds. But before I get to any of that, I need to... Uh, uh, what do I need to do? A whole bunch of things. Uh, okay, potatoes. Can I go F3 for trades? Uh, apparently we're just doing wood. You know what? If I'm flush with potato, uh, flush with potatoes, can I make a borrow on potatoes? Can I borrow 290 potatoes, please? Uh, just to increase that credit score once again. Because if I'm flush with potatoes, I'm happy to repay the potatoes at a higher rate. Okay, so that should solve that problem as well. I have far too many potatoes. One thing you do need to know about the potato trade is they can't take potatoes out of here. So what they're going to do is they're going to use the potatoes that are stored in the farm. So currently I have 76 potatoes in this farm. I'm probably never going to have potatoes in this farm because it's directly connected. So as soon as this uses one potato, one potato from this farm gets shoved in. So I'm actually going to turn you off. That way they sort of have to come get the potatoes from this farm. Now, my interest rates are 48 in 11 months, in 10 months. But I don't have to pay yearly. That seems bad. I thought it was monthly. Buffer close. Open six months before each payment. This one opens in four months. Oh, okay. So I got four months to get 48 potatoes. I got plenty of time. I'm not worried at all. All right, uh, you're all out of trees to harvest. Can I get you to harvest the trees that might get um, removed with our new ramp? Yeah, I'd like to save the trees by chopping them down before they um, disappear. Cool. Uh, do I still have too much wood? No, okay. Location explored, I didn't find anything. Uh, Mr. Shippy Shippy, we're gonna send you here instead. And again, okay. we've unlocked custom services. I'm not rich enough to start putting down custom surfaces, nor do I know where I want to build things just yet. So we're not going to do that. Okay, concrete production, I need to get into. I need to get into that before I do sediment water. So 
we're going to come to right here where no headphones has been quite busy removing these trees i'm going to need a second water source so we're going to put a second water source beside the first water source i'm going to go into blueprints because i could reinvent the wheel i don't want to reinvent the wheel uh so i'm going to dump down a blueprint this is my blueprint for concrete slabs okay it just makes the whole process a whole lot easier now what i need to do is i need to get water into you uh Okay, we'll come back to water in one second. All right, what I need to do is I need to get some of this built. So can I just unpause the boxes to start with? All right, so the recipe to make concrete slabs, which currently I've been buying or trading. Trading is probably more accurate. I've been trading for them currently to get rid of some of the wood. Okay, like we have a high supply of wood once again. Um, don't you're still exploring. Uh, F3, can I just do very quickly just to get rid of it uh okay you found nothing okay but you have enough fuel to go there let's go there then all right that's our last single that's our last spot that's one spot from home so this is where the oil rig is okay cool now we know where the oil rig is rig is all right so to make concrete slabs I need to have some water, which explains the water thing image you build. Uh, also, I need to have some gravel, some manufactured cement, sand, and some, some some cement. Now, cement, I already have 170 down here in uh, the grand list of things. Can I move potatoes to the top? Yeah, better. All right. Uh, I already have 170 cement, so I could just get one of these guys up and running. We might just do that. Uh, you or you? Uh, we're going to build you. Uh, can I get you, 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 and you? All built. All right. Uh, because I already have some cement. This is from quests. This is from people arrived with it. You know, completing quest logs, all sorts of things. We have some cement. So that means we can start making some concrete slabs. Now, they're going to need manufactured sand plus gravel plus water. Now, water we're going to obviously get right here. That's easy. The manufactured sand, the gravel, uh, and, and technically the cement, they're all new things. So, uh, to make gravel, let's do with gravel first. Oh, oh, and there's two different recipes and they're both enabled. One is gravel, the other one is slag crushed. Now, slag is coming from our smelters. So, if we go to a smelter, uh, each time you run through copper ore, you produce some slag. Currently, the slag is going to the sea. And we've almost finished filling out this little area. So it's currently going to the sea, but I would prefer if I could use that in some way that's useful. Hence why uh, we're going to start bringing over our slag here. Much more slag than that, please. Much more rock than that, please. Much more limestone than that, please. Coal is full. Cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my slag over here. I'm also going to bring rock over here because I can you. I can turn slag into slag crushed, okay? Which is one of the ingredients required for the concrete mixer to make concrete. Uh, can I also turn you on? Yes, uh, I should maybe get your water done. No, no, it's fine. All right, so we can turn slag into slag crushed, which is one of the things that we need here. So I need slag crushed or I need gravel. Gravel is rock made crushed. This is a crusher. We're gonna be building crushers in just a second. The other recipe I have, or the other item I need is manufactured sand. To get manufactured sand, I take rock, rock, I turn to gravel. I take gravel and I crush it again to turn it into manufactured sand, a very, very fine rock. So what I have here is I have a bucket uh, that brings in rock. Uh, the bucket that brings in rock feeds into a second bucket that also has rock. The truck's not allowed to access this one. This one is all standalone, but this bucket's going to split its rock 50-50 between this bucket and this belt. Now, when it comes through this belt, it goes into this balancer. This balancer is explicitly said that the priority in is not the rock bucket, but it's this belt here, which goes into this one, which is the slag. Because, got to remember, I can use either slag to get slag crushed, or I can use rock to get gravel. Gravel being one of those recipes, one of the halves of the recipe I need. The rock is the only thing I can turn into manufactured sand. Now, I could enable the sand recipe. I have a whole bunch of sand. It's all over the coastline, but I prefer not to. So we're not going to use it. What we are going to do is we're going to go uni and I'm going to say build, 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 build. 
Uh, build, 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 build. Uh, that one, that one, that one. I don't really need those belts, but we're going to build them anyway. Uh, I'm going to have... No, I have plenty of you. Uh, we're going to get those done, and I'm going to get... Uh, well, these three belts done, obviously. And then every belt in a straight line. Every belt across the back. Cool. Uh, all right. Pipes. Let's do a pipes real quick. So, I have one pipe here. This is going off to do... Down to this balancer that's flooding the air. That's feeding the farms. Uh, I need to have this water and this water merge. Okay. So, we're going to very quickly put in... Uh, rip you out. Cool. Remove. Uh, transport. Pipe balancer. Throw you in there. Put a pipe in here. And we're going to take a pipe from here. In here. And from here. In here. Cool. Uh, new feature that was updated. Uh, added in update number two. Is when I click on a pipe. That's obviously going left to right. And I want it to go right to left. And I press F. It now flips. Which is awesome. It's going to save me so much clicking. So, what I want to do is, I want to get all of that built, and that built, and that built. Cool. Uh, this, I want to technically prioritize this water pump, because this water pump needs to run some, no matter what, because it's going to have water going 50-50 split out the front, half it going this way to feed these guys, and half it going the other way. Uh, I also need to get cement. So, cement is the other half of the recipe. Cement comes from Rotary Kiln. Rotary Kiln is limestone plus coal. Gives me cement and some exhaust. Exhaust, that's pretty easy. Uh, it goes into one of these things. They get rid of exhaust. Can I just get that built? Cool. Uh, as for the cement itself, uh, we're going to get this belt done, this belt done, that belt done, that belt done, that belt done, and... Oh. Not you, because I don't have 30 parts left. Cool. We're going to have you be built the old-fashioned way. Uh, you make three cement. You need one and a half. You also need to be built, and you only need one and a half as well. Can I get that built as well? All right, so uh, I can run two of these. Two of these can make 12 concrete slabs a piece. 12 concrete slabs a piece is enough to run two of these doing construction parts. I have bricks on top of that. Bricks I want to turn off as soon as possible, but I also have other problems like my complete lack of iron. Why do I have a lack of iron? Because you use nine iron, you make 12 iron, you use 15 iron. Yeah. You also try to use some iron. It's not good. Uh, so I need to increase my smelting. Yeah. I also need to location explore. Yay. We found the oil rig. Uh, Mr. Shippy Sheep has come home. Unload the crew, please. And also give me back all the diesel. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. No headphones. Can I get no headphones to possibly uh, remove trees in this area? Because diesel's not great, and I might have to do something about it, but I'm really hoping I don't have to. All right. What I need to do is I need to increase that iron smelting. Now, for right now, I have a unit income of two per month. Okay. If I had water, I'd have more, but I don't have water, so we're going to ignore that problem. Uh, yeah, okay. Concrete production, I can get off the list. Uh, vehicle management gave me an extra 20 vehicles, so I can make more if I need to. Diesel, a problem. Maybe not a problem. Fuel. Uh, no, I want products. Diesel. Quantity. Yes, yeah, so when you're going up, is fine. When you're going, maybe not. Mr. Shippy Shippy used a lot of diesel, so maybe it's Mr. Shippy Shippy's fault. But um, diesel is maybe an issue. Also, so is possibly iron. Uh, definitely iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a boost on all three of these. Now, you can take in 48 iron. Uh, my belt moves 60. Not an issue. Uh, you can then output 48 molten iron. Each one of these does 120 per 60 seconds. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, the, the coal's even less, so that's perfectly fine. You can do 24. It's being directly fed into a box. The speed there is way higher than 24, so we're perfectly fine there. And um, doesn't change the fact that I need a new iron smelter. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new copper smelter first. I'm going to take you. I'm going to flip you. I'm going to overlap the molten channels and put you right there. Cool. First thing I need to do is extend that out so you get a connector on the end. Second thing I need to do is move you over two tiles. You're actually plugged into there. 
Uh, remove the bits and pieces I don't need. Uh, remove that and run that belt into there. Cool. I'm going to need that water pipe to plug into there. And I'm going to need to fix this. So I need to bring copper ore in here. And then I need to be coal at height number one into here. Cool. So that's the second copper smelter. I don't need it yet, but I will need it in the future. Then I need an iron smelter, like two iron smelters. Now, I could go and reinvent the wheel and build myself an iron smelter. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. Or I could jump into blueprints, go for... This is my, yeah, this is my uh, update one blueprints that are all available on the Captain Industry Hub already. And first place, the iron smelter, that's what I want. And we could slap an iron smelter, make sure the rear belts line up. And, well, here. I'm not going to have enough room in the middle, no matter what. So it means copper I'm going to have to build to the right, and iron I'd have to build to the left. There is some things in the way, but, you know, that's what the plan would be. So, uh, what I can do is I wouldn't continue the copper or belt through, but what I... Oh, you're off by tile. Hey, you're off by tile. Up one tile. There. Cool. I would remove that. I would plug that into there. I would click that belt. I'd hit the wrong button. Uh, you're facing to the right. Uh, I wouldn't need that. I'd need this iron bucket to go, well, actually right here would work. And coal, we continue straight through. This is slag out belt which means I could take slag out of this guy and bring it up to here and then potentially hook slag out of that guy, which I'm going to do with a ghost. And I'm going to make sure that you are on for export. And then we could have the slag be belted out to somewhere. Like right here in the middle. Done. Uh, change you to slag and change you to that. Cool. So I need to have this built. Uh, this will fix my iron problem. It's going to put all the iron in the box, which is fine for right now. It's not going to be directly connected to anything, but um, it's better than me spending a whole bunch of uni trying to get something to run faster than it really wants to. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to unpause that, unpause that, uh, unpause that, unpause that, obviously. Uh, the coal belt, the iron ore belts, the slag belts, uh, and just one smelter for now. Yeah, uh, unpause, unpause. Okay. Uh, and you as well. All right. That's going to be our plan. It's a grand plan. Uh, I do not have nearly enough construction parts to get this done. I have one construction part. Two. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's going to take a minute. Uh, whilst that takes a minute and now we look at the trucks and we say very busy, we're going to make sure that this is swapped over with the end tool to level it out. And I'm going to redrag this whole area. So now we can see that any green tiles are fill tiles, any well yellow tiles are dig tiles. And we can see that now some tiles are a bit of both. So I need a little bit of N. I, 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 I want, that's what I want. This needs a little bit of filling here or probably actually needs a whole lot of nothing, but it does also need a little bit of digging. Um, this one here is mostly filling, but then there's a little bit here that just needs to be trimmed back. So, um, yeah, I want access to this tool so we could make a nice little cut through the hill so we can have a bit better of a ramp up and down. Also, the coal guys are, well, slowly removing the hill. Yeah. Uh, can I give them access to even more to remove? Cool. All right, coal, I need to come in here. I need to say reject single product loads. If it's just coal, you've just dug coal, nothing but coal. I don't need you to sort it. What I do need is one of you to dig coal and one of you to dig dirt, rock. We'll leave it at dirt. Okay, uh, no headphones has finished digging this area. Can I get you to dig just a little, cutting down just this area a little bit more, just a little bit more, just in case. And we're still very much limited by construction parts, but 
This seems to be running. So, you need iron ore. Yep, all of it. Uh, you need iron ore, all of it. Uh, you need coal. Well, coal we're technically empty. So, coal goes through the coal sorter, ends up in the bucket, and then we actually kick it out from this bucket. So we force it out from this bucket to go to other places. Like over there that needs coal. Rather than me calling coal to every place, I'm doing it sort of backwards. No pros or cons for either different version, just, just different ways of, you know, skinning the same cat. Uh, train leveling was spoken about. And you are running, you are making cement, and you are full of concrete slabs. Okay. If you're full of concrete slabs, uh, I am no longer making bricks. Excellent. No more bricks. Bricks use an awful lot of water. They also use an awful lot of coal. I prefer not to do that. And I am not exactly sure where you're getting your water from when it hadn't rained. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. You're now out of trees again. Okay. Can I get you to start removing all these trees beside the settlement? Uh, actually, can I trim that back to just the trees hard up against the settlement? Not those ones. Not those ones. That one. That one. That one. That one. Probably that one too. Very selective in my tree chopping. Okay. Uh, you guys have almost finished this. So what I want to do is I want to link this to here and this to here. And therefore, we can start dumping this out to the sea, which is going to fill up with all sorts of junk. I don't really want it filled up with all sorts of junk. I think I'm just going to have to accept it for the moment. Um, okay, we're going to try and keep things clean. Uh... No, there's no... There's no way for right now. Okay. All right. So you're smelting. You have some iron, which can be transported over here. You're full of slag because we're extremely busy, which is bad. Uh, and that's down to we ran out of spots to dump. But we got new access to new places to dump. So hopefully that's a solved problem. Yeah. What happens is one truck is saying, I'll dump in that corner. And then it's full for just half of a fraction of a second. And then everybody turns around and is like, I've got nowhere to put this dirt. I'll take it back. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have a dump come out here. I might need to extend this out. Like, two lanes is is wishful thinking. I might need all four. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So with that happening, iron back under control. Uh, let's get into sediment water. I sort of want to build the other half. But all right. Now let's do sediment water. All right. Okay, water. Uh, we're gonna grab a water pipe from here. Uh, now, these little water pipes uh, move 60 water. That's all they move, which is fine, except I have a need for more than 60 water at the other destination of this pipe, and I do not have the ability to make tier two pipes yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our original goat pipe and we're gonna give him a friend, because, you know, goats are often seen in pairs. Uh, and we're going to run it right around, sort of following the same line, keeping them generally close to one another, you know, traveling packs, that sort of stuff. Uh, and we're going to come to here. Now, you may not have noticed, but I turned on the R button. Because I turned on the R button, it turns off the magnet. So the only way this connects to another pipe is if I literally hold it directly over the pipe. If I turn them, well, if I unremove the R button, it has a habit of connecting all over the place. Like, all the time. If I move this down to this height, mm, it's not going to do it now. Yeah. It has a habit of connecting all over the place. I don't want it connecting. I turn on the R mode so it turns off the magnet. So then the pipes are less magnetic. So therefore, they don't try and connect to one another. Uh, I want to match these pillars as best as possible. And then I want to come to here. I want to actually plug in here. So I need to turn off the magnet, on the magnet, on the magnet. So uh, it automatically does the turn at the end into, well, the balancer. Good. 
Look, I need that pipe built. It's 120 parts. It's going to be a little bit expensive. But uh, with that done, can I get... Can I chop those? Uh, can I also put another tree, another wood box here? And we can build that before they all nick off my parts. Build that thing. All right. What do I need to do? Priority won't matter. Okay. What I need to do is I need to get more water down here. Because currently I have two farms hooked into the end of this. Okay. You use 27 water, just doing the manure. And you use 36 water. 36 and 27 is more than the 60 the pipe puts through. Yeah, they don't use water constantly. Okay. We do get rainfall that offsets the amount of water we're using. But technically they use an awful lot of water. So... Uh, this pipe's pretty much already spoken for. So what I want to do is I want to bring a second pipe down here, which means I have more throughput through this balancer total, uh, which still gets a little bit of bonus water from the rainwater itself. And then I'm going to run a second pipe through to here, uh, under this bridge, uh, down to here, to there, I want to say. Yeah! Pretty sure that's the tile I want. Um, because I need to go in the game. They want me to build a water facility. Now, the water facility is something that's hooked directly into the housing. I was so close. I was so close. Uh, for the record, I want it to be written in blood and stone. Uh, I was so close. Cool. I want to plug that into... Doop, doop, magnets on. Cool. Yep, yeah, plug that in there. All right. Uh, this is the water facility. This water facility uh, brings in water. Uh, gives it to the people. When it gives it to the people, I get bonus uni. I also get bonus health. Currently, we're at five, which is a base of 10 health minus a five from... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure we'll clean up the, the whole island in the future. Just not today. So I also need this pipe built, uh, which is another pile of construction parts. Yep. How long are you going to go? Yeah, a little while. Cool. Uh, can I speed that up in any way, shape or form? Uh, I can make sure that you can do construction parts on top of everything else you're doing. Uh, oh, you're currently doing those. So you don't really have room for construction parts. And you're also doing construction parts on top of everything else. So, no, there's not really anything I can do about it right this second. All right. So, we need construction parts for this pipe. We also need construction parts for this pipe. Then we need to build the water facility itself. And then the water facility is going to turn, uh, well, some of my 16 water that's clean and goes into the town into... um slightly less clean water that we need to dispose of. So, we're going to take that. Uh, I want to go over this corner, but I don't want to connect like this. So again, we're going to press the R button to turn off the magnet. Yep. And I'm going to go height one uh, above that pipe. And then I'm actually going to go hard up against the village over to here. And then I'm going to break the game and run to the other side of this. Which you would say, what the hell is that pipe doing, Jenny? And I'd say, well, Technically, it's going over the tiny little building that, that brings in their food. Why it's doing that in that angle, I don't know, but it's a hitbox thing. Uh, we're going to go to height two at this side. Yep. Because uh, technically, I'm going to get vehicles to get uh, past this in the future. And we're going to come around past the lab that's probably temporary. And over to here. Over to here. Uh, over to here, and then down to there. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to click on you, uh, look at your navigation overlay, and confirm you can get under that pipe, which means trucks can get through here. Diggy boys are going to have to go from here, over the bridge, uh, around the back of the farms, and all the way down here. That's all right. We can't see ourselves digging anything too much over here. So I'm going to get you built. Cool. Uh, you're going to also do more construction parts. There's a theme going on here. Uh, your dedicated construction parts. Boost. Europe mix match. Europe mix match. Uh, yeah, you're sort of the only one I want to boost. Although, if you don't have construction parts to make construction parts, you could make your own construction parts. There's a thought. That's a good thought. I like that thought. Uh, I'm going to turn... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, bricks and highest priority. And boost. It's sort of like you get a delivery of, of parts. But, you know, okay, I guess so. Um, Alright, so you still need 60 
You need 21, at least we can get that much done. You need 64, which is going to take a minute. And... No, 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 no research. No research. We're done with research. Cool. Uh, I found some spare construction parts. All right. Uh, I don't need this lab and I don't need this lab because they're useless to me. Uh, we need this lab. But with those spare construction parts, can I get that built? No. How about that one? No. Uh, how about you set to on? Yeah, you're still dumping all the water from the nasty oil refinery. Bad oil refinery as well. Uh, okay, you're unload the fuel. Okay, all right, so I need this built. I need the trash dealt with. I need more trucks. One, two, three. Cool. All right. Uh, we're out of bricks. That's fine. We have construction parts. We have concrete slabs to replace the bricks. So we eventually will run out of things running the brick recipe. Uh, you. Okay, you're now done. With you done, you're going to take a while for the water to get here. But eventually it will get here. And then that means this pipe's next. This, I can just uni build when time comes. Because I have the construction parts too. I just don't have the parts one. You needed fuel, didn't you? Yeah, no headphones. You're in the unfortunate situation where you are going to probably have to drive all the way around. Because somebody built a pipe in the way. But there's just no room for a bridge right here. Okay, so we need 44. 44, come on, can we do 44? On. Nobody can pick them up. And uh, nobody's living too slab. Yeah, we're just, some things, we're, we're, we're at the point where I should have belts to a lot of things, but I don't have belts because, well, I just don't have belts because we just can't afford the belts right. Now, uh, also, that's one other thing I probably should do. I should probably, I've done this a while ago, actually buff the mechanical parts. Uh, can I set you to a higher priority? I, I want the pipe done. Oh, never mind, the pipe's done. All right, uh, you're going to be our next task. And in the meantime, we're going to union build this. Okay. With you up and built. You already have clean water right there. It's going to flow in the town. Uh, once the town gets saturated with water, I will get bonus uni. It says I'm already getting it. Okay, I'm not getting it, but this is saying I'm getting it. One of them's right, one of them's wrong. That's fine. I'll eventually get the extra uni. When I get the extra uni, I will be happy. The town will be happy. Meanwhile, uh, the wastewater is coming out this pipe, which means this pipe's going to slowly, over time, change color. And uh, it's going to come out here and it's going to come out the official complaints department which, like I said, is based right outside the captain's office, which means I can personally take care of any complaints. But the game wants me to add vehicle fuel saver to our list of things it wants us to do, which is going to cost me one uni, but it's going to cut back on our fuel consumption by 15, which is fine because my diesel, it's not great. It's definitely going down. Definitely going down. But now I'm saving 15% 15 of that diesel. Also, uh, well, I'm getting one uni from this. So technically, I'm breaking even on uni. Technically. Uh, also have built a captain's office and done advanced research and found the oil rig. And that means the next episode, we need to get to, well, the next tier of research. I need to get advanced diesel. I need to get power generation. I need to get steel. I need to get construction parts. I need to do so many things. But we're going to be covering all those in not this episode, but the next episode. Uh, along with... You're all ramped out. Uh, along with giving you a new job to do. Uh, yeah, because we do have a brand new ramp right here. Isn't it nice? Isn't it pretty? We have better access to things. Also means that when the coal crew bulldozes through this uh, little ramp here, it's not going to cause any issues. It's not going to break the go pipes. But... They're all going to be things we're going to be finding out and covering in the very next episode. Uh, for right now, I'm going to leave you with the wonderful, picturesque view of the complaints department, uh, the captain's office, Mr. Shippy Shippy. And I'm going to remind you, as always, if you haven't clicked subscribe, now's a great time to do so. And I'm going to say, as always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you in, well, the very next video.
Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.